first record that brought you to the style that you're playing right now? Wow. I don't really know. I mean, there was so many albums. I mean, um, and it, fuck. I mean, probably, my first, first record I probably bought was in the 70s, like Kiss Destroyer or something like that. But And that kind of was like the seed of metal in me, you know? But then I would say in the 80s with um, maybe Venom and Exciter and... Um, Merciful Fate, Possessed, those kind of bands. So I don't really have one because it, it's all like, it's all a smorgasbord of everything that I've gotten into. It was just like, I, my vision was to keep going heavier and heavier with um, the music I was playing, trying to find what's heavier. Then when I started the band, I wanted to follow my own destiny as far as making it heavy in my own way. All right. Wow, there's a lot of them. Uh, one was I fell off one of the stages once. Like the stage was really, it was really dark, and they have like they, they usually have tape on the edge to know where the edge was at. Well, they didn't have tape on the edge, and it was like a little like an L there, and I went. <laughs> so that was pretty, um, pretty embarrassing. Um, so, no, I mean, I was like, I was like, gong! The guitar made a, a really horrible sound and it fucked up the song, but it was funny. Everybody was laughing and I was too, you know? I I, I don't take myself too seriously. Part of a, um, a metal show, or even a live show, is it's not always perfect, you know? Since you were a child, you plan to be a musician, but you want to do something else. Um, I don't know. When I... When I was really young, I wanted to, I didn't really have like a main goal, I guess. I li really liked like science and stuff like that as a kid, but um, I don't know. I think once I, um, once I seen Kiss on TV in the 70s, I knew that that was pretty cool to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, um, it took a while until I, you know, it was one of those things where I had a, a small, a small um, vision or whatever, like I, you know, and I just slowly went up the ladder and, and learned how to play guitar and finally got a band. And you know, for me, it was always just I want to just push it a little further, but also have fun at it too. Right. So, in your generation, how to get in contact with the music you like when you were younger? When you uh, when I was really young, it was record stores really was the main thing. I mean, when I became a teenager, we would make the rounds at record stores um, pretty much every weekend. We'd try, you know, when I wasn't old enough, my mom would drive me or I rode my bicycle there. And then when I was older, I would drive my car and look at the import section, trying to find out what's cool. Um, and then once I met, um, He's got a couple of my friends. I, well, I worked at a record store for a little while, and I met these guys that played in a band called Revenant and Regurgitation. And I ended up joining Revenant, but those guys showed me about like fanzines and stuff like that. And then, then once I got into fanzines, it was all over. I was writing everybody. I needed to hear everything possible, you know, that was metal. So. What do you think about the new generation and their link between the internet and music? I mean, it's just a different world, so it's hard to um, hard to really compare. I mean, uh, back when I was younger, it it sounds like it sounds weird, but I, I had to work for my metal. You know, it wasn't easy. Now it's very easy, and sometimes because it's easy, uh, things get looked over. Like back when I was younger, if I bought an album, I would have to try to. Um, you know, try to like it or try to listen to it enough and try to understand it because I spent money on it. Now on the internet, you can download anything for free. So you listen to it one second, you don't like it, okay, see ya. You know, so it's a it's just a different world, but it's good and bad. It, everything's good and bad. I mean, it's nice to be able to get music so much quicker now than it was before, but it also sucks. You have to go now? Okay, right. can you do, maybe, you can finish up later, maybe, yeah. if you have more questions. Uh, just uh, the last question. Okay, one question, that's cool. Just a music style that you despise. Despise? You don't like. 
okay, I hate that whatever that music was that was playing before us at the show today on another stage, it's like some kind of folk, pop folk, stupid stuff. I don't know. In my opinion, it just sucks. I hate all those, like, um, those kind of like drinking band songs. I, 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 under, I understand other people like it, but for me, it just sucks, you know? I mean, that's in the metal style. I wouldn't even call that metal. I would just call that fucking cheese music. Queso music. All right. 